Welcome to the desert and inside Chase Field in Phoenix. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's California taking on Arizona. And that one is lifted in the air. Suzuki settles underneath it. He makes the grab. And the inning is over. End of a half inning of play. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Ground ball left side could be two. He's in there. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. To the right side, into the outfield. Is it the base runner at second has a... Good feed, that's one. Relay to first, double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. For a strike. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So... You don't worry as much about him in this situation. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. We played an inning. No score. Swing and a ball popped up. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. And he'll be safe at first. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. With nobody out. Steal. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second and great jump. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Here's a 1-1. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall. We'll move to the third with no score. Pitts back to work. And that bunted towards third. Carrara. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Oh, for one so far. Into center. Conway gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. He was all over that fastball right there. Righty to the plate. Ripped on a line. Makes the play, and it's out number three. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. The pitch. That one ripped. Conway racing over to make the catch. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's the pitch. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it one-hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I tell you, and it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a... Lined, and that's a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. All over that one right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Runner in scoring position. First and third, one down. Grounder might be two. Franco to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Hands, not let them get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And that is the third out of the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Hitter, at this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get in the scoring position on the ground right side four six three double play and the inning is over well the second baseman made that one look easy great feed to the shortstop shortstop completes the play they get out of a jam and they end the inning And here it comes. And that one in the air center field. Dives. What a play. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to. And Puts a bunt down. To first, and he beats it. Maybe a little small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense, and they've been pretty quiet all game, so maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Up the middle. And a base hit right there. And the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Ronaldo Pitts departs. And it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Perez gets the ball now. Two on, one out. Now the left fielder, Christopher Crosby. Bouncer to second. They put the tag on him. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we still have no score. He has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You just a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Ty Elliott gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Oh. 
at the belt and fires. Back to the mound. Franco over to second, and they turn the double play. Very smooth on the feed to second right there. You gotta love that glove toss, Boot. You know, sometimes people think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you gotta remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Three up, three down, inning over. It's the ninth, and we are tied. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square. Got him! One away. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle so I gotta think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff Boy. runner on the go there's the ball safe at second and that was not close when your catcher's not a great thrower you have to do a better job of controlling the running game and that's throwing over that's stepping off doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. The run comes in from second, and it's 1-0. Kelsey relay to third. Safe! Almost made the play, but now it's a one-run ball game. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get into scoring position, come through with the base knock, add a run. On the pitch here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. And now, Kenny Franco. That's a base hit as a run scores. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And at first, Luther Bishop now at the plate. And that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always trans. Swing and a base hit. Franco rounds third, headed for the plate. One run in. Here comes another. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Two outs. Ground ball to the right side. In plenty of time to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The Dodgers on top three to nothing. The pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. 
Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. And down on strikes he goes. And they're down to their last out. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball. Here comes a pitch. Swung on, belted. That one's got a chance. And into the pool. It's out of here. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Kicks and fires. Hard hit left side. And that's it. They're moving on to the National League Championship Series. You win a National League Division Series, you can breathe a little bit as the next one will stretch out to possibly seven games. I'm sure they don't want to take it that far, but they're just going to be happy to get there. Congratulations, guys.